I knew today in the finals, in this type of situation, you know, with this caliber of team, it wasn't going to be about tennis at all. It was just going to be about hard work, fighting, and, you know, for my opponent making that match uh, a track meet. about a guy that just came ready to play today in both doubles and singles. I mean, he was just amazing. He saved his best tennis for last. No matter what it takes, you find a way, okay? Find a way to fight out of those corners. Find a way to dig as deep as you can, okay? And, and, and it, it's in you guys, it's in you. You worked for it, you've earned it, okay? So go out and take it. Go out and take it, because you've earned it. I felt like we have options between uh, four and seven. There, there's a lot of parity there. there. Those guys are all so close. And we just had an opportunity to play him today. I felt he was fresh and ready to go. And he, again, he saved his best match for, for the end of the year. I mean, he was unbelievable today, both in doubles and singles. So I guess I made a good decision there. Coach had asked me yesterday if I was feeling up to playing. And I told him that I'd be ready to play if you wanted me to. I've progressively been getting better every year. So, first year I won three games. Last year I won three sets. Almost pulled it out, but fell short. And then this year I came through pretty big.
I think throughout the week I was I was concerned with my opponents, thinking about what they were going to do. Today was all about me, what I was going to do and what, what I was going to do to him. I was just going to make every single ball, and I, that's what I was focused on. I wasn't worried about whether his forehand or his backhand was better. I was just going to put the ball inside the court and say, um, you know, here's, here's the best of me. You, you have to deal with that. I enjoy the longer matches. I like getting my court times. And in the second, I was just trying to get off to a better start, which I did. And, um, you know, I was able to carry that momentum pretty well through the second. And in the third, it was just back and forth, got an early break, and then played a rough game to get broken back. I made a couple adjustments, started to play a little more aggressive. And, um, you know, midway through the third, I saw that it was going to come down to me, likely. kind of floated up and he had a high backhand volley and I think he got a little excited and um, kind of bunted it down. So I had to look at a lob, but he ended up touching the net with his foot, which the ref called. So that obviously was a huge game changer and uh, don't think I would have been here if I hadn't gotten that call. That's, that's Mitchell Frank, he's a warrior. He is one of the toughest young men that you could ever have the opportunity to coach and to see him out there battling last match on is exactly what you would have wanted. just proud and happy for the players you know they they deserve this moment and I mean both past and current players I mean they're just a very special group of people that I've had the honor and blessing to coach we were heartbroken last year and the year before just like our coach has done because he's such a great leader you know he, he came back even stronger and then that's what we did as a team we were able to come back even stronger man I'm, I'm just so happy for Brian and the program and we got so much more to more to do.